how long have we gone without getting a rate cut? And we got a rate cut of 50 basis points this week. And that's like the big storyline. Mm -hmm. um, what are you what are you seeing? How is that affecting you? Are you surprised by the 50 basis point move? I mean, I was siding with bankers and bankers were thinking it was going to be more measured at a quarter uh, point basis cut, you know, uh, 25 basis points. But you know what? 50 basis points, you know, as we were watching uh, Monday and Tuesday and ultimately Wednesday roll in, uh, we absolutely saw that the market had priced in this 50 basis point drop. So when it came, you know. I wasn't that surprised. Yeah, and I actually ended up catching some of the the comp the afterwards commentary, right? Sure. And it seemed as if the uh, journalists kept pressing uh, the 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 Fed uh, chairman to explain why fifty, right? Like they were almost wanted him to say, "Oh, we must be behind. That's why you have to go more than 50. And he kept reiterating, "Hey, the economy is good." Growth yeah. is good, although there's this question of employment still looming here and yeah. there. Um, were you able to catch any, any of that commentary? Oh, absolutely. And I think it frustrated investors to no end that he kept sticking with the you know storyline that everything's fine, everything's strong. But yet, why a 50, 50 point basis drop? But you know what? <clears throat> the market had priced it in. And interestingly enough, I watched as some of the big money investors uh, actually, once the news had uh, been released, I watched as big money investors then sold off what they had built up for the prior week. You know, they the, the market had moved up totally pricing in that 50 basis point drop. And then right when it was released, I watched those big money investors take their money right back out and so maybe let's let's pull up the s p and just see what the reaction was because it was good i mean I, the market was pretty much up all day yesterday at mm -hmm. these high levels and i mean that's optimism although uh i guess you know we were surprised by the 50 basis point and everyone's starting to look at the next thing that's going to affect the market yeah absolutely well, let's take a look right here at the chart. So this is today, right? This was yesterday. And then this was Wednesday when the 50-point basis drop happened. Uh, let me turn on my magic marker here. But as I'm waiting for my magic marker to load, the key here, I think we have to go intraday. We have to look at what was actually happening during the day. So I'm going to change it from looking at daily bars to let's look at 15 minute bars because it's kind of weird if w when the rally happened right because it didn't happen during market hour it pretty much happened all after hours absolutely <laughs> that's key sip and and i've been struggling with this right and i think i'm coming to my conclusion after seeing today's price action although i may uh be curious what happens into next week right so let's see if i can uh do some drawings here um the first thing is is this was right as the fed remember the fed comes out at two o'clock and they release their information i'm looking for my magic marker they release their rate cut rate drop and this was um interesting because there was this build up there was this build up up to wednesday and like I said, I saw the big money investors kind of take their dollars out. I just got my magic marker, so I'm going to go ahead and take it over. So I watched my big investors start selling uh, and making all those gains. So I think, you know, what big investors like to do is they like to be the leader to get small investors to kind of, based on, you know, fear of missing out or whatever, you know, when big investors, you know, slowly start to put money in, little investors will like to ride on their coattails, right? And so I think that big investors were, you know, feeding this 50-point basis drop uh, all last week and into this week. And I think little guys followed in on that. And then I watched 
as those big guys took all the little guys money basically right and then i watched this interesting i call it pump and dump type strategy and it's not pump and dump you know like penny stock traders do but what i watched is after hours those big money investors really then started to buy right and i almost think that they knew what they were doing by creating that after hours bump especially after a huge news event even though they took a whole bunch of little guys money for the last two hours of that trading session they turned around and started to pump things up so that when it opened on thursday there was this massive move and all the little guys jumped in during amateur hour amateur hour is the first hour of trading and during the morning session into the afternoon session when i watched these same guys come in uh in the afternoon you know late afternoon and professional hour and start selling off again so i almost feel like <clears throat> the you know no matter what would have happened during the fed uh you know news conference and fed policy adjustment on wednesday our big money and traders looked at this as an opportunity to make some money off of the little guys and they totally did twice and now i think we're kind of really seeing what is the result of you know this fed move you're starting to see now now that all the games this is like a cat and mouse game and i think that you know and I wouldn't be surprised if we got into the tens of billions of dollars that changed hands during the end of Wednesday and, and yesterday. And it did pump us up to new time, you know, all time highs up here. But now I think that we're starting to see what the actual response is to the Fed after all the games are done being played.